Good morning, I'm Pilot Bambi and welcome back to my channel. We spent the last few days at this beautiful cottage called Out of Plet. It was an amazing stay, but unfortunately our time here has come to an end and uh, we're heading back to Cape Town. But en route, we're gonna stop at Royberg Lodge for a quick breakfast and enjoy our last few hours with the Cessna 182. Let's go. So we're gonna add another quart of oil and uh, we don't have a funnel in this plane, we didn't bring one and um, luckily when you're flying in the bush you always have lots of water with you. So my dad made this little funnel, we dried it out and it's gonna be perfect to uh, pour this right in. Southern with Bay traffic, Papa Julia Bravo landing up runway 30 after departure straight out westwards, climbing 4,500 feet. Landing lights on. Mom, you ready? Ready. Bow ready? Ready. Let's go. Temperatures, pressures in the green. Air speed alive. 60 miles an hour, rotate off the stalwart and climb out at 80 miles an hour. Chopping in the George E Special Rules area, Papa Julia Bravo is just north of the Nice and Lagoon, 4,500 feet, rooting west. We are 15 miles out of the airstrip. Once we approach, we'll do it. We'll fly overhead, see where the wind comes from, and then we'll do a quick low approach just to see what the state of the runway is, if there's any animals on it. Dad, how did you actually find this this lodge? Well, basically scanning all the different uh, options that we had from the uh, airfields uh, directory. So check one by one, uh, see if there was uh, nice uh, facilities. And on this one, they uh, offer an a la carte breakfast. And since this is breakfast time, I thought, let's go there. And that's the cool thing about that awesome airfield directory is there's so many cool sp places and there's phone numbers and website links. So you can really have such a big variety of options and places to go. And we try to go to as many as possible. Wow, what a beautiful little airstrip. Oh. Troy Bear traffic, Pop Julia Bravo is three miles east of the field, uh, routing straight for a low approach roadway inspection. Runway is looking good. Okay, I see the runway there again. So we bring traffic, Pop Julia Bravo is right downward runway 30. And I'm going to turn before this mountain, or this hill. And that little water here, that's so cute. Pop Julia Bravo turning final runway 30, right back lunch. Tucked 
Tucked away in the heart of the Klein Karoo, you find the beautiful Royberg Lodge. We call the head of time requesting to land on their runway that is situated within a 200 hectare olive tree farm, and they welcomed us with open arms. Papa! Hey! <laughs> we had no idea that our pickup car would be this cool. It was only a short drive from the award-winning Mont Rouge olive groves to the entrance of the lodge, a tranquil haven and a perfect place for some good breakfast. to drive. <laughs> Mommy has her three private pilots and goes to the best places for <laughs> breakfast. I'm so lucky. Oh, I'm so privileged. I love <laughs> it. <laughs> Good from the airport all the way here. We started off in Plattenberg Bay. Yeah, and then nice nice here. So if I flip over to the next page, nice nice here. So we flew over this mountainous area to get to the, the Royberg Nature Reserve. It's not far from Van Wijksdorp. By car this is only reachable over a dirt road. You see this is all dirt roads, so we are really in the middle of nowhere. And we're in the Royberg Nature Reserve now. So we just had a really lovely breakfast and it's always nice to have a look at this map again, see exactly where we are. We're gonna take the flight west again from Royberg. Just fly directly past Swellen, uh, Robinson down and then directly past Stellenbosch to Cape Town. So we're just gonna see what time we leave here exactly, but it should be a really, really nice scenic flight. <laughs> surprised by how fast the 182 uh, wants to fly. So as expected the uh, mountain ridge all the way to Montague is very cloudy and uh, you can hardly even see the tip the tops of the mountains so I've decided that I'd rather route coastwise just because the separation with the clouds is safer and there's a few more diversion airfields on route as well so it feels a little more comfortable. So I'm going to initially climb to 2,500 feet and then uh, try to go through the mountain, the little dip there. over the mountain ridge on the most southern side that we could crawl, uh, where we had the most altitude difference between uh, the ground and uh, the clouds. Pass over there was nice to climb a little because it's super turbulent. And now we're heading back kind of on the uh, original track west, um, passing Swellendam. And then we'll see what the clouds are doing here, but it looks perfect outside. And uh, then we can route directly to Cape Town. So we are just west of Worcester Airport, a gliding airport. We saw some planes there as well. We're now crossing west towards Diemenskral over the mountains. We're at 5,000 feet, just have to cross these uh, ridges, and then we'll be on the other side and descend in the Delta 69. Then I'll see if I can call for an en route flight plan and then fly towards Cape Town. Four, almost equal to 
ook stille bosland. Ja, dus daar even, even stoppen. Ja, ja dan hebben we goed brand. Ja. All right, so we're approaching uh, Stellenbosch Airfield. We decided to divert to here. We weren't able to call for the uh, flight plan, the en route flight plan. So we're going to land here and also the weather towards Cape Town is looking awful. So we might as well stop here. If we can't continue our flight, we'll have to just park it overnight and then fly it back tomorrow morning. But first we're going to see and wait it out and have a quick, uh, quick drink. And we can have a beach out here. Oh, yes. <laughs> It looks like 1-9 is in use with a slight crosswind. Stellenbosch traffic, Bob Julia Bravo is uh, over at the field, 1,800 feet, descending on the dead side for a right crosswind, runway 1-9er. Stellenbosch traffic, Bob Julia Bravo, right hand downwind, runway 1-9er. Brakes yeah. check, undercarriage fix, mixture set, yeah. power pitch set. Lighting lights on. Still bus traffic, Pop Julie Bravo turning final runway 19. Full flaps, landing lights on. Pitch full fine. The wind is now severely picking up, so we're really happy we landed. I quickly put on some long pants and a sweater because it's cold, and so did you. It's freezing cold, but your landing was gorgeous. Thanks. And we're gonna have a pizza here to warm up, maybe a hot chocolate if they have it, and then tomorrow morning. You can bring me to my flight exam. Exactly. <laughs> but we'll leave the plane here for tonight uh, and then see what the weather's doing tomorrow morning. The flight that we did today was super, super cool. Ooh, thank you. <gasps> well deserved. What an ending to such a stunning flight. Starting the day in play, having lunch or breakfast even at this lodge and then fighting the weather to come back to Stellenbosch and ending with pizza. I mean, it, that's the best way to fly and experience aviation. Mm-hmm, and we had some crazy weather on the way back, so it was really nice to plan our route past a bunch of diversion airfields. Ending up here, we parked the plane and we'll bring it back to Cape Town tomorrow. That's just how things go, and safety first. So we're enjoying our beers and we'll be flying again soon. So I hope you like this video. We'll see you next time. Bye! Bye! Now nog één keer proost hoor! Woo!